kitchen is truly the heart of the home. It's where we cook, eat, and gather with our families. So regardless of the design style, it's particularly important that the kitchen itself, and specifically the cabinetry, be designed primarily with function in mind. The function of the room of the kitchen is more important than really anything. We gotta make sure that the working triangle is works well for the client. And you work from refrigerator to sink to cooktop. That's the natural progression through a kitchen. The working triangle is the way those three areas work together. Ideally, you want them close enough that you can easily move from one to another. You also need to design your working triangle so that it isn't interrupted by any other traffic that comes through the kitchen. You'll see in a lot of kitchens, a lot of people have cleanup areas where they'll have an area that's more designated for uh, um, cleaning up your dishes. So there'll be a larger sink in that area and your dishwashers will be in that area. And that also helps keep the kitchen um, different pathways. That keeps the cleanup area also out of your work triangle because while one person is cooking, another person can also be cleaning up. In selecting your appliances for your kitchen, you really need to look at that on, on the front end. Once you've chosen your appliances and placed them in your kitchen, then you can determine how much counter space you have left. Some storage solutions that we're, we're doing a lot of right now is um, one with trash rollouts, where the trash, um, where the whole bin rolls out. It just makes it much easier to use the trash storage. Instead of trying to open a door, then rolling something out, um, another thing that's very popular are spice racks, roll out spice racks, roll out um, cabinet areas that you can really store a lot of things into, a lot of um, cooking products. If storage space is an issue, the best design is one that avoids corners altogether. Secret storage compartments are fun as well as functional. Here we have hidden what is normally a messy counter area. The cabinet to the right of the refrigerator makes use of what would normally be dead space. Now it houses smaller items near the range, keeping that area tidy as well. And if you like your TV to be easily accessible but not always in view, here's a nifty solution for that too. And the art of concealment doesn't end there. You can conceal appliances by actually putting panels on the front of them. Uh, we do that quite often with refrigerators, um, dishwashers, um, dishwasher drawers, you know, refrigerator drawers. With your island um, as being used as an informal eating area, you've got to take in consideration the, the countertop height. Do you want a standard countertop height that you have for the entire kitchen, or do you want to have a raised bar area? What that does is if you have a range or a cooktop or a sink on your island, it does hide that whole area of operation. Uh, so it, that is something to consider if you are going to have a raised area that it will hide that whole area. And that's why a lot of people do a raised top. But it is kind of nice also to be able to have a um, countertop surface that's level with the eating surface. There are lots of choices in materials for your counters. We're seeing a combination of materials being used in the kitchen with, say, a granite on the perimeter counters and a stainless steel on the island. The most important thing with counters is to give yourself enough counter space within your working triangle because this is the place where you'll use your counters the most. We're seeing lots of finishes in cabinetry as well. It's also popular to combine finishes in cabinets like using a natural stain on an island and a paint and glaze on the perimeter cabinets. Distressing cabinets is also popular, especially with the old world look that's so in vogue. Now let's take a closer look at these three kitchens that Classic Custom Cabinetry has designed. Our first one is an old world kitchen. Our approach to this kitchen was that we wanted to have more of an old world feel to it, an old world look to it, and that kind of, you know, is is the reason why we went with uh, a rich wood. Uh, in this room we used an alder and then a stain and a glaze with the alder to give it that that rich um, old world look. We've incorporated like the wormholes and the, the eased edges and also some chisel marks. We've incorporated you know right, a full-size refrigerator plus we have uh, refrigerator drawers and freezer drawers in a separate pass-through area that's between the family room and the kitchen. We made sure that there was also a landing space um, 
next to the refrigerator and next to the oven. Uh, we've incorporated, actually there's um, two eating areas in the kitchen. There's actually a raised bar area and there's also a, um, a eating area on the island. Our second kitchen is much more transitional. The style of cabinet, I would call it a transitional style. Uh, it's just a painted set of cabinets uh, with uh, flat panel doors, uh, very simple, very clean lines. Uh, as you can see, the feet on it, just very simple feet. With uh, having two islands, both having trash rollouts in them, both having sinks in them, they actually serve as two separate workstations. And uh, the way it's, the, the kitchen's designed, we actually have two working triangles in the kitchen, so it's a very functional, very user-friendly kitchen as far as uh, preparing meals and, and working in your kitchen. Something neat that we did in this kitchen is we took this, this one wall of cabinets and, 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 and took them all the way down to the countertop, uh, put frosted glass doors on the front. But what's neat about it is, is that it's actually a, a two foot deep cabinet, so it goes all the way through into the mudroom. So standing, you can actually see through the kitchen into the mudroom through these cabinets. And they have glass shelves, so it really helps open up that wall a little bit as well because it brings light in and, and, and doesn't feel uh, so closed in as much. Our final kitchen is a stunning contemporary design. The simple shape of the cabinets and the understated hardware work together to show off the wood itself, which is a bird's eye maple. All of the counters and the backsplashes are granite, and the sink in the working triangle is set in the island to make the best use of this space. Enormous storage space has been created by putting cabinets on the far wall, and the booth seating creates a very fun space for dining. Kitchens like these can inspire the chef in you. When we come back, our Spotlight of the Week and what's coming up next week.